okay so um quite a good time to be alive quite a good time to witness all this i would never have thought that there will be a combined effort of the apc and the pdp in river state to be protesting <laughs> Quite a good time to be alive, my brothers and sisters. You, 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 all the things that you thought would never happen anyway is happening in Nigeria. Again, someone said that if anybody sits you down and explain Nigeria to you, and then you understand perfectly, the person will explain away because we are in some form of um, unexplainable, unexplicable, uh, incomprehensible, uh, unfathomable. <laughs> you cannot get it. You never can. I swear to God, you will never get it. PDP and APC protesting um, that um, uh, the governor, who is a PDP governor, for example, and of course, uh, is, is rigging the election in favor of the APC. Like I said in my previous video, the funniest part of all of this is that River State seems to be the most demo, uh, democratic state in the country. The former governor is of the PDP that belongs to the APC. The president is of the APC. The governor is of the PDP. The local government chairman of the APP um, had been declared winners. <laughs> ah, now, uh, now look at it. People will be named victors. Others will be vanquished. Others will be, yes. But the overall loser in all of this is Nigerian democracy. Nigerian democracy is the loser. Because at the end of the day, we are seeing that people, you know, as a student of political um, societies uh, that are taking pain to study both formal and informally um, how societies evolve, and I said it. A few times, whenever I have conversations about whether there is evil for this country, some of you want to whip sentiment and emotions and say, uh, did you see every saint society, the first thing they face appropriately, appropriately, is a policy system. That's the first, that is the fulcrum, that's the base, like, like, yes, the base, the denominator of a growing and developing society. Because it is the police system that would ensure that corruption is limited, um, rights are, are, are protected, um, privileges are offered, the elections are free, fair, because they are the organ of government saddled to ensure that there is uh, sanity in society. They bring law and order to institutions, to persons, to, to systems, to government, everything. So when the police system has effectively done well. The next most important thing in that particular uh, um, what's the word now? Spectrum is the electoral system. Any society without an electoral integrity, right, has failed. Even in societies where kings, for example, take over. You see this, the, the, the processes are well spent. For example, in the Benin Kingdom, the first son, in some other places, like in the north, it is some, it is like okay, even the west, it's a form of appointment based on rotations, based on agreements, based on certain qualifications. When that system is spelled out and is followed to the letter, grievances will reduce, people will be comfortable with it because they already have an idea. But you see, we've lost the police system, and the only way to fixing the police system that's supposed to be the baseline of our development is to actually fix the electoral system because the electoral system we may need to go back to the police act somebody a, a friend of mine was commenting on my instagram page earlier today and then he said that the problem with us generally is that we inherited a policy system from a colonial master again i'm sorry i'm not that person that that pushes blame but that's his words policy system that we inherited from a colonial master they were supposed to offer protections to vip and not to bring law and order to society now you see the, you see the difference the variance is that in other societies, the policy system provides, ensures law and order in all aspects. Anybody can be arrested. Anybody can be dead. It's the police that does investigation. There are no special. These are officially the institution is a lot. 
independence of the police institution is the first step to societal sanity. But here in Nigeria, he said that the irritant, of course, and then by insinuations and by if you just remove your eye based on too much paper and just look at it, see, yes, the protection is about VIP. So the police system actually do not provide that kind of law and order. And that's why in this country, you will never know how effective the law is until you offend a big man or somebody that has money to prove to prove a point. You never know. You will never know. The same policy system that cannot fetch out criminals can go on to get you, track you and get you out. If they find you what if they find you uh, 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 wanted, right? From any, either by offending the institutions, insulting a big man, or by speaking against government. It is, it is, it is normal. There are two things that makes Nigerian political, uh, uh, Nigerian institutions or institutional framework to galvanize some level of inroads into very obscure area only by elections and by arresting people that have offended their paymasters. In those two ways, you'll be shocked. The same politicians that knows the roots, you hear them, the, the election just ended. You are seeing all of them saying, We penetrated 192 words. We penetrated the 192 words. They now know it. After election, the 192 words is a pardon for just Bini, Uromi, or Eboma. Sometimes, yeah, they, both of them are not lucky to have the um, same presence. They now cheat. Oshumule was fair enough to have ensured that his, his village, which is a few kilometers from Aochi, Iyanomo, I, 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 I right? Yamo, actually. Get all the form of development. And that's why it's difficult to break into that site because he gave them everything. Gave them a university. Give them the mobile police um, 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 uh, barrack, Mopo City, heavily situated there. Give them light to, to give them a police station, right? So a lot more. Why am I saying all this now? We've allowed people to grow beyond our institutions, and that's how somebody can say to hell with the IG. Because again, guess what? Because the IG is overdoing it. I saw a picture that implied that the IG of police is the APC national chairman. And then you could see, look at the Edo elections. Police were offering cover, cover for ele ele election manipulators, for electoral riggers. Police offered cover. From the story I, got, I, I heard that was briefed me, the vehicle that carries certain materials that they said they, they got intel. How can politicians be telling police that they got intel that, that thugs are coming to attack the coalition center? And then I neck and the politician and of course the police started to carry sensitive material that we used to vote that coalition around from various points to another remember the idea of police has already banned the uh, the those security of vigilante because they knew what they wanted to do from the beginning when some people say don't talk about it and i'm laughing these things now you see the weekend scene just the way we are talking about it now it, it gave rise to a new sheriff in town. But some, some, to, there is something that is being sacrificed. That is a democracy that is being sacrificed for you. That hatred you have for Baseki, that you celebrated the rigging of an election in Edo State, it gave, gave rise to a new narrative that yes, Edo people rejected Baseki and your party won. But it is further seeking and burying our democracy. That's where we are. That's the point I've been trying to establish. We are dying. The country is going. You don't get it. It's okay. <laughs>